So this hard five-point Calvinist view, in my view, makes God the author of evil and doesn't give us free will and leads to all sorts of contradictory things. Mm -hmm. Just in the same way, the atheistic materialistic view does. It takes all moral responsibility away. I have a question regarding free will. You generally consider um, free will being necessary for a loving God, right? Yeah, I, I think we, there is free will because if there's no free will, there's no way to love. And okay. love is essential. Okay, so my question is, if our environment and the devices by which we perceive our environment and the devices by which we make our decisions, they're all created by God, right? Mm -hmm. So how do we have free will if all these things are created by God? God doesn't, isn't that influencing our dis decision making? Well, they do influence our decision making. Obviously, you couldn't make a decision without a brain, right. right? Without a mind, and God gives you your brain, but that doesn't mean that you have absolutely no control. You do have control. God gives you an apparatus by which you can make decisions. Because he gave you the apparatus doesn't mean that you, you don't have some capacity to make free choices. If we don't have a capacity to make free choices, then the problem is it makes God the author of evil. Right? Because it means God is causing us to do all these things, including evil, which would be contradictory because God does not want us to do evil. And he wants all to be saved. If he wants all to be saved and he controls everything we do, why isn't everyone saved? That would, be a pro would seem to be a problem. Now, the atheists have the same problem who are materialists, right? They're claiming that everything that you think and I think is caused by the laws of physics alone. We're nothing but moist robots, right. right? Well, if that's the case, why should we believe anything we think is true, including the thought that atheism's true, or including the thought that every thought is caused by the laws of physics completely? We'd have no warrant to think that. So this hard five-point Calvinist view, in my view, makes God the author of evil and doesn't give us free will and leads to all sorts of contradictory things. Mm -hmm. Just in the same way the atheistic materialistic view does. It takes all moral responsibility away. It, it makes it impossible to love. So why are we here then? I think we do have free will. And without it, God would be the author of evil and we couldn't love, and yet he's commanding us to love something that seems to be contradictory. If we don't have free will, how can we love?